वेलकम फ्रेंड टू माई चैनल इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट हिट डिसिपेशन फ्रॉम द फिन विच इज इंसुलेटेड एट द टिप सो वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड आउट टेम्परेचर वेरिएशन इन द फाइनाइट लेंथ फिन विथ द टिप इंसुलेटेड एंड ऑल्सो वी हैड फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द हिट डिसिपेशन इन दिस केस बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी हैड सॉल्व some problem related to industrial application in that previous video in the description box the links are available you can refer the links which are related to the conduction heat transfer so in this current video we are going to discuss about heat transfer by means of conduction part 10 where we are going to discuss about heat dissipation from the fin losing the heat at the tip or you can see the fins with convection of the end means we are going to discuss about the next case related to fin so friend in this case we are going to discuss about application of fin which is very much related to real life so in this case we are going to derive the formula to find out temperature variation in this case as well as what is the heat dissipation when the fin is of finite length and from the tip heat transfer takes place by means of convection so for more detail related to extended surfaces in the description box the links are given refer that videos so it is very much clear to you about extended surfaces so friend let's start with this current case where in the top part you can see the fin is attached with the surface which is at t0 temperature that is when x equals to 0 the temperature is equals to base temperature x equals to l that is the total length of fin is given and you can see at the bottom side in the figure number 24 temperature variation is given so you can see that when x equals to l at that time all the conducted heat will be dissipated into the surrounding by means of convection means you can see that q conduction equals to q convection in this case so now we have to refer the most general equation again and we have to put two boundary condition into it so friend the first boundary condition which is known to us is when x equals to 0 theta equals to theta 0 and when x equals to l that is when we are talking about length of the fin we know that heat transfer by means of conduction that is equals to heat transfer by means of conduction and because of that newton's law of cooling that is equals to fourier's law that is minus ka dt by dx at x equals to 0 sorry at x equals to l that is equals to h into surface area into t minus t a acs that stand for cross section area and asu that is surface area so when we are considering the case of conduction we have to consider the cross section area that is area perpendicular to heat flow and when we are considering the convection we have to consider the surface area so we know that when we apply first boundary condition we know that we will get theta 0 that is equals to c1 plus c2 that is our equation number 1 and now to find out second equation we have to differentiate temperature with reference to x that is we have to find out dt by dx at distance l so we have to go for that exercise and here you can see that Minus k a d theta by d x that is equals to h a into theta at x equals to l. So we can write that k into d theta by d x plus h into theta that is equals to zero at distance x equals to l. So now, friend, your mathematical part is available, and when we will go for simplification, we will get the value of c two. that is equals to theta 0 minus c1 and the value of c1 is available in the equation number 2 so when we will put the value of c1 and c2 in the most general equation theta by theta 0 that is 
t minus t a divided by t zero minus t a will get that is equals to cos hyperbolic m into l minus x plus h divided by m k into sine hyperbolic m into l minus x whole divided by cos hyperbolic m into l plus h divided by m k into sine hyperbolic m l that is equation number a i hope it is very much easy for you to understand because this is third time we are repeating the same exercise if you face any problem the links are given in the description box again you refer the case uh, for the fins that is previous two videos and you will get what is your required answer with full satisfaction so now this equation number a is talking about temperature variation for the fin which is of finite length and from the tip heat is transferred to the surrounding by means of convection now our second next task is to find out the heat dissipation from the fin so we know that q fin that is equals to minus k a into d theta by d x it x equals to 0 and when we'll go for simplification of it we are repeating the same thing again so we'll get equation number b that is q fin that is equals to under root of p h a k where p that is a parameter of the fin h is the convection heat transfer coefficient of the surrounding fluid acs that is the cross section area of the fin k is the thermal conductivity of fin material into t0 minus ta that is the base temperature minus ambient temperature into 10 hyperbolic m into l plus s divided by mk whole divided by 1 plus h divided by mk into 10 hyperbolic m into l where m is the fin coefficient l is the length and 10 h that stand for hyperbolic function with 10 so equation a and b are talking about heat dissipation and temperature variation for the third case where the fin is of finite length and the heat is transferred from the tip of the fin to the surrounding by means of convection so i hope this derivation is very much clear to you and based on that we try to solve one numerical related to it okay friends let's try to solve a motor body having 36 centimeter outside diameter and 24 centimeter long its surface temperature should not exceed 55 degrees celsius when dissipating 0.34 kilowatt of heat it is proposed for a longitudinal fins of 1.5 centimeter thick 4 centimeter height the thermal conductivity is 4040 watt per meter kelvin the surrounding air temperature is 30 degrees celsius with the convection heat transfer coefficient of 40 watt per meter square kelvin determine the number of fins required so friend this is a case of a motor body over which we have to put the fins to maintain 55 degree temperature on the body where the surrounding temperature is 30 degrees celsius we have to find out the number of required fins for this case so i hope this data is very much clear to you and now we try to analyze this situation so friend what is given to us in the data accordingly the sketch is available where the motor body is at 55 degrees celsius the fin dimension that is length width and thickness are available thermal conductivity is 40 watt per meter kelvin the q total that is 0.34 kilowatt that is 340 watt that is also given in the data only we have to find out the number of required fin for this case so i hope this figure is very much clear to you and how we have to solve this problem that is also clear to us because this is a case of fin with finite length and the heat dissipation takes place from the tip of the fin also means we have to consider q conduction that is equals to q convection that is case 3 so let's 
try to solve this problem so friend now we know what is the heat dissipation in this case q fin that is equals to under root of th ak into t0 minus ta into square bracket 10 hyperbolic ml plus h by km divided by 1 upon h divided by km into 10 hyperbolic ml so our first task is to find out what is the fin constant m that is under root of ph divided by ak where perimeter that is 2 into b plus y into convection heat transfer coefficient divided by thermal conductivity into cross section area that is b cross y so all the dimensions are available with us what is the width that is 24 centimeter what is the y value that is also available that is 15 centimeter the thermal conductivity is given 40 convection heat transfer coefficient value is also 40 so we will get the value of m that is 11.9 meter inverse and when we multiply that with the length of the fin we will get m into l value that is 0.476 now friend we have to put all the values of p h a k base temperature surrounding temperature and all this in the equation of q fin so we will get the value of q fin that is equals to 21.77 watt but in the data it is given that the heat dissipation value is 340 watt or you can say 0.34 kilowatt so the number of fin requires are total heat loss or total heat dissipated by the heat dissipated by one fin so that is 340 divided by 21.77 that is equals to 16 fin so total 16 number of fins are required so that the temperature of the motor body should not go beyond 55 degree celsius and that is possible when we will put 16 number of fins with the given dimension and with given thermal conductivity so friend this is a very much live example related to industrial situation and i hope you are getting all this step you are getting the correct answer and i hope you understand the third case related to extended surfaces also so friend in the current video we had discussed about the third case related to extended surfaces with the derivation of the formulas and solution of the problem so this is end about the theory related to extended surfaces or fins in the next video we are going to discuss about what is called fin efficiency and fin effectiveness so do not forget to subscribe this channel like this channel and share among with your friends have a nice day bye